This is an overview video of Checkpoint's security solution for Azure Virtual WAN using CloudGuard Network Security. It includes a short introduction to Azure Virtual WAN, a demo of Checkpoint's security solution, and a call to action. Today's modern IT environments are distributed, leading to complex connectivities between them, each with different security needs, and a resulting complexity of maintenance and operational overhead. The bottom line is that security teams are focused on the operations, instead of the real security. We like to think of Azure Virtual WAN as the cloud-native version of the hub-and-spoke model. It connects decentralized data centers, branch offices, and remote users in a more intuitive way, simplifying network connectivity and providing low-latency streaming of traffic. Now let's see a demo of Checkpoint Security Solution in action. Hello, my name is John. I'm a Cloud Alliance Architect from Checkpoint. This is an overview video on how our integration works with the Azure V1 Hub. Um, first and foremost, I want to highlight what is the difference between this solution and our existing Harmony Connect solution. Now, Harmony Connect can provide the protection to the internet. Now, whereas this solution, we can now provide the east-west traffic inspection. Um, we can provide the protection from VNet to the data center, um, to the branch offices, uh, branch to branch, branch to VNet, and branch to the data center, all bidirectional. Essentially, anything that is connected to the hub, we'll, we have the ability to inspect the traffic. Um, and that will include the traffic to the internet as well. Now, from an architectural perspective, these are two single gateways. And traffic is uh, evenly distributed to the gateways uh, from an internal load balancer inside the hub. Next, I'm going to show you how to install the cover gateways into the hub. Now, before we start provisioning um, the gateways, now without the Cloud Guard network security in the hub, this is the type of attack that customers are susceptible to. Today's threat landscape, you need multi-layer security to properly protect your users. So how to identify these security gaps? Checkpoint has this free service called cpcheckme.com. It can help you identify security gaps across your network, endpoint, cloud, and mobile devices. In this case, we're going to check our network path to the internet. Okay, so to deploy the solution, we're going to be deploying from the managed application. So we first, we're going to select the uh, CloudGuard VWAN uh, gateway. Click on Create. We're going to select the resource group that we're going to be uh, putting this in. So we're going to go ahead and select the uh, VWAN resource group. So this is the resource group where you deploy your uh, VWAN solution in. Um, and then next, we're going to select the uh, West Selected Region. I'm going to select West Central. Um, and the application name, Cloud Guard NBA. That's the name of the application. And the managed resource group will be populated automatically here. So go to next. All right, so the VUN, um, so this is the, the VUN hub resource group. We're going to select the um, which hub that we want to install in. I'm going to install this in the hub number one. Um, the NBA name, call it Color Guard NBA. Um, scale units, right? So scale unit, we are aligning our scale units according to um, the VWAN uh, scale units as well. So in this case here, um, two scale units will be deploying two instances. Now, if you need the higher throughput, you know, we're going to be uh, uh, installing uh, uh, five instances to 32 gigs of throughput. So for testing purposes, we're almost like 2.4 gigs. Um, BGP ASN, what this, what this is for, um, we'll be establishing a BGP connections into the VUN hub. Um, and this is really for our ability to connect to the hub via BGP to learn the routes that are being uh, populated uh, into the VUN so that we know how to get there. So this is uh, pretty simple. This is sort of for storing the um, Actually, this is for the uh, SSH public key. So I'm going to use the NVA0 key. All right, next, we'll go to next. And um, we select the Cloud Guard version. So um, during launch, I think we're going to be supporting 80.10 and uh, a couple of versions uh, uh, before that, providing N minus 2. Bring your own license. I always like to dive directly into Bash here. I'm going to put in our a key. We don't need a bootstrap script. Just leave that. Go wow. next. Okay. Looks good. Agree to the terms and conditions. Now, this is a co-admin. 
the major difference here is we'll be actually be installing our MVA inside the uh, Microsoft subscription because VWAN is actually um, inside a Microsoft subscription. So that's why it is co-admin access permission. Um, this process can take up to uh, 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna let it run and, um, and uh, we'll come back uh, once it's finished. Okay, so here I just wanna highlight that um, we're able to successfully install our Cloud Run Network Security Gateways inside the VUN Hub. And this is the successful installation uh, message. Next, we're gonna go ahead and configure the uh, the routing intent to redirect traffic to the Cloud Run Gateways. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you how to uh, configure routing intent. Um, routing intent is a new feature that will allow Azure Fabric to redirect traffic to CloudGuard for inspection. And we have two different options of uh, configure routing intent. Um, so it depends on the customer's uh, network topology. Um, they have the option of uh, setting up the, uh, the, the routing intent, what kind of traffic they would like to uh, send to the checkpoints for inspection. So um, yeah, so here we go. So this is the two new uh, features from Microsoft to allow the ability to send traffic to the checkpoints. So in here, drop down menu, um, this option here is to select to send all internet bound traffic to the checkpoints for inspection. So there's an Azure firewall option and there's a, a network security appliance option because uh, we already installed the NVA. So we're gonna select um, the next hop to be NVA. So this is, means that all internet traffic um, the fabric will then the Azure fabric will then send the traffic to the uh, checkpoints for inspection. Here, this is the option to send all the um, non-routable private IP addresses, um, all the RFC 1918 addresses to the checkpoints for inspection. So select uh, I'm gonna select Cloud Guard for both options and save. Now. Um, Azure also offered the ability to add an additional prefix. So understand that there are customers um, that have IP ranges uh, that they can consider internal that is outside of the uh, private traffic range here. So this additional prefix will also tell the fabric to uh, send the internal, uh, other internal subnets such as you know, the 1.1s and 2.2s or anything that's outside of the RFC 19 addresses here. And that's it, it's uh, that simple. Um, you don't have to modify any routes uh, after that. So anytime there's a new VNet that is peered to the hub, um, our NVA will be able to learn that um, uh, route automatically. And that's including the new express route data centers, VPN, uh, point to site VPN, um, anything that, that is uh, gonna be connected to now to the VPN hub, will have the ability to learn those routes automatically. Here, I just wanna show um, the policy update uh, for the routing intent uh, was successfully updated. Then onboard the uh, Cloud Guard gateways to our management station. So um, we're gonna hop into the uh, VWAN and then we're gonna go into the hub that we just deployed the solution in, our Cloud Guard security in. And on the left, under third-party providers, um, there's a network virtual appliance. And this is the appliance that we just uh, finished installing. And we're gonna click here for the instance details. So here we have the uh, IP, public IP addresses of the two NVAs. So we will onboard this two NVAs uh, into our management. Station. Okay, so now that we have our gateways installed and we have the IP addresses, um, I went ahead and create the uh, gateway objects already. So, um, uh, the only really the only difference is the under network management um, as a start you know we advise our customer to disable the anti-spoofing on both the external and internal interfaces for now and then uh, once the customer's uh, network is uh, in production uh, we advise the customer to re-enable the anti-spoofing and specify the uh, networks that are behind each one of the interfaces for enhanced security um, now uh, what a customer can do at this point to enable uh, the uh, threat prevention capability, um, Checkpoint have created a very uh, simple way to uh, help customers automatically configure um, our threat prevention policy. 
So it's uh, simply is one click, autonomous threat prevention, and you'll go ahead and configure a sandbox, and, uh, enable the CNC protection, which is the anti-bot feature. Um, uh, we're going to enable the threat cloud capabilities, IPS protection, um, uh, sanitation with CDR, and uh, URL and, uh, and application control, all with a single click. Um, press OK. And we're going to do the same thing for the uh, second firewall. All right, go to custom uh, threat prevention, uh, autonomous threat prevention, press OK. And that's it. So you don't have to configure the blade, uh, each one of the individual blades anymore. It's a simply uh, one click and we have the uh, threat prevention policy with some of the best practices, uh, threat prevention capabilities already installed, uh, already configured, I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and install the policy. All right. And after the policy installation, we're going to go ahead and test the uh, traffic to the firewall. Okay, so select install policy to call our gateways, install, and wait for installation to complete, and we can start test the uh, connectivity. Okay, awesome. Installation is successful. Next, I'm going to go ahead and test the uh, CP check me. Okay, so now that we've called our network security uh, with the threat prevention enabled, um, you can see that the CP check me now come back all green, so the customer is fully protected. So with that, thank you so much.